Hello, it is Carol and I'm, I am in my backyard today. So I kind of have been thinking about since I just um, restarted karate again, should I really be concentrating a lot more on ground fighting? Because chances are going to be if you're in any type of self-defense situation, um, you are going to need to learn ground skills. So every fight that I've been watching, there's been a new one about a group of families and people at a baseball game it went to the ground and that's where people got like punched and kicked they broke ribs and then another video I just saw that Henner Gracie actually posted was there were two nurses at a um, I'm assuming a hospital that were getting punched by one of their patients so it's very important first of all to know any type of self-defense skills it's very important also to know if you go to the ground and there's some type of like altercation down on the floor that and someone's on top of you that you need to know what to do when you're down there so you really can never prepare for these type of situations except for learning different techniques and practicing so that may mean that you are watching videos on the internet or if you have classes available in Jiu Jitsu or Krav Maga or some type of techniques that you can learn. If someone's laying on top of you and you're being mashed, that you have a way to figure out how to get out. And you never really know what it feels like until you actually have someone, you know, lay on top of you. So ask a family member, a friend, somebody to, you know, basically mash you into the ground and, you know, try to figure out techniques how to get out <clears throat> and run away so one video that I saw uh, that Hunter Gracie posted recently was basically there were two nurses at a facility and you know one of the nurses confronted a patient and the patient basically stood up grabbed her towards him and started punching her in the face and she just basically froze so I was asking my family and my husband, I'm like, you know, why would she just stand there? Why would she just do that? Why wouldn't she run away? Well, first of all, I've never been in that situation. Second of all, whenever you're being punched or kicked, um, it is super painful and your body is, is goes into shock. It doesn't know what it should do next. And that's why I always discuss You've got to train, you've got to go to class, you've got to practice, 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 train, train, train. Because when you're getting punched and kicked, it's so such a violent situation and it's so painful that your body may shut down. But after you've done, you know, thousands of punches, kicks, blocks, techniques to get out, chokes, your body just kind of takes over for you. So that's one good thing that as long as you train, 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 that you should have some confidence if you do get in any type of violent situation that your, may, your brain may shut off or have a brain fart, so to speak, but uh, your body's going to kick in. So even after I, you know, there have been times in my life where I've stopped training Every time I go back, I'll always say, you know, come towards me and let me see what my body does. So it does come back. It's kind of like riding a bike. So some advice I have for you, if you are doing any type of stand up like karate or kickboxing or regular boxing or some type of stand up, try to learn some type of ground defense skills whether it's watching videos, um, Henner Gracie and the Gracies have a great line of videos in their university. There's so much on YouTube as far as free content. And I'm not saying that you need to do, you know, cartwheels and then choke and then this thing. You know, just learn some basic techniques. Just learn how to bridge. Learn how to, you know, try to get somebody off of you. Learn how to maneuver your hips or your shoulders or, you know, a simple cross choke that you can learn as, you know, self-defense techniques. And also just one thing I would always encourage women and anybody else out there is don't put yourself in these certain situations. Now, of course, like 
different people. You never know where violence is going to break out. Apparently it's at the baseball field and it's at work, you know, if you're a nurse. But try if you're, you know, if it's midnight and you have to walk home by yourself, like don't walk home by yourself. And I know it seems like common sense things, but sometimes we forget. Or if you're drinking alcohol, you know, drink only two drinks. Don't drink more than that. Or try to set limits, you know, just so you're not inebriated trying to navigate you know, trying to get home and always I would recommend if you are afraid to go to some type of organized martial arts class watch videos watch as much as you can try to and you'll need to practice the techniques so whether it's you're pretending someone is coming at you or someone and a family member someone you trust is working with you you know practice 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 you're going to have to practice because that will, you know, your brain may not know, but your muscles will know. So if you have any questions or comments or want to know anything about Tung Sido Karate, Jiu Jitsu, or anything else, post them in the comments below. I do read them. So subscribe if you like. I'd love to have you see my new content as it comes up. And I will see you on the mat and in the dojang. And have a good night. Bye.